Hey everyone, Dollistic here, and in front of me today, I have Amped Up Frankie Stein. Oh, I am so excited. They are a part of the Monster Ball line, but they don't explicitly say it, but like, they are. And I think this doll is so cool. I love all the like, the trans color representation going on. This packaging is really neat. I think this is like, a totally new packaging form. Like, this like, riveted skullette piece is totally new and I love it. I think it is so cool. I, I think they're an Amazon exclusive. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of hate that they're an Amazon exclusive because this is such a cool doll and it would have been amazing to see them on shelves, but for whatever reason, it didn't go to stores. I saw them on Amazon on sale for $10 and I was like, absolutely, you're coming to me. So let's get into the packaging. So you can see the really cool skelet rivets all along here, or maybe they're supposed to be light bulbs because it's like flat. Oh, it for sure is. Look at the background. These like skelet lights, very cool. Monster High. And then the artwork of Frankie down here in their amped up uniform. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of this art. I think it's cool, but I think it's a little too, like, I don't know, that just doesn't look like Frankie to me. And I usually like their art a lot. I'm pretty sure this is Darko artwork, which is totally cool, but I, I don't think it works for me here. And there is a fun read up down here. So backstage glam is complete, and Frankie Stein is ready to rock and charge up the crowd, serving serving lurks okay with a high voltage outfit and a supercharged electric guitar frankie is amped to give a performance that is positively electrifying very cool and it seems like it's gonna be a, a pretty easy box to open so let's go ahead and get them open i think it's just gonna be these tabs like it usually is which is awesome there's a lot of them though Okay, so yeah, that was pretty easy. So let's get them out. Let's free them from their plastic nightmare. Oh, is that a rubber band? Oh, boo, I could have kept that. Mm -hmm. I love playing this game of where are all the tea ties? Now, why would you also rubber band that in if they're in a hole? Like, their hand is in a hole. It can't go anywhere. All right. And they have made it out of their tea tie hell. Yes, awesome. So they do stand on their own. That is excellent. And now that they're out, let's get up close and personal. All right, and starting with their hair, as always, they have very, very long hair. I love it. It goes to their mid calf, and it is saran. It is wonderful. It's got a little bit of product in it. Not bad. It's tied back with these two front bang pieces in black, and they do have pink and blue rooted at the base of their head to give this a very cool, like, trans pride situation in the hair. We love to see it. And they have this really cool set of headphones. Like, look at that. It's got their little heart on it with lightning bolts coming out of the, the speaker. Is that what you call the earpieces? The speakers? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I know, obviously, like, that's what you call a speaker. But, like, is that what you call it when it's a headphone piece? I don't know. And it's connected with these two chains, one of which has spikes that goes across the top. And then another that's just a set of chains. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, and they have green hex bolt earrings. I'm pretty sure they've used this mold before. I think they're the Creepover Frankie earrings. Oh, we've got some, some stragglers, that's totally fine. And for their makeup, it's really neat. They have a sort of sky blue and then like a true blue eyeshadow and a big thick lashes, a nice thick dark eyebrows with their silver eyebrow piercing, a lightning bolt coming out of their green eye, which is so cool, made out of the eyeshadow, by the way. Oh, and look at that fun like design that they did with the outer corner. That is so neat. And they have very vibrant pink lips. And y'all know I'm kind of tired of pink lips on Frankie. However, I think it works nicely for this outfit because there is so much pink involved. It makes sense. <laughs> A lot of the times it doesn't make sense, but on this doll it does. However, they like really, they really like underpainted the top lip on this mold. Like look at that. You can literally see where the molded top of the lip is and then the painted on upper lip is so much lower. That's so odd. You could easily fix that with some paint, as long as you don't mind color matching. Okay, and I'm going to take their keytar off so that we can get a good look at the outfit, because you can't really tell, like, how they're dressed with it on. All right, and for their top, first up, we've got this silver harness piece. It's really cool. I love the details. 
it's a touch reminiscent of Neon Frights Frankie just because they also had a harness. It is nowhere near the same. Like, this is a totally new sculpt, which is so cool. I love the lightning bolts in the middle there. These hanging chains are so neat. And I love how they're laying perfectly on their body. Very cool. They have a silver sort of like bolero top with puff sleeves made out of this metallic silver fabric. Very cool. Is it attached? Oh, okay. So it is attached to the black pleather. So this whole thing is all one piece. There's a black pleather crop top with silver stitching. And yeah, it's unfortunate that that's a single piece. But I guess to keep the budget where it needed to be, that was necessary. I would maybe worry about this fabric over time because it definitely looks like the kind of fabric that might just wear and the metallic might come off. I don't really know, but just be wary of that. And they do have on a tie. So there's the white like collar piece and then the hot pink tie. And I'm pretty sure it's the same tie mold used with Coffee Break Frankie. So if you have that doll, you have this already, but this one is in hot pink, of course. Love. And moving down to the bottoms, they have on a pair of high-waisted black pleather bike shorts with blue and white lightning bolts on top. Uh, they definitely had a piece like this in one of the Skultimate Secrets waves. I don't remember which one, but I feel like they get a lot of these, the like the high-waisted bike shorts. So these are nowhere new, but they're really cool. I like how it fits with the motif of the outfit. I do kind of wish there was a little bit of pink in there though, just to like really get pink on everything. And for their shoes, they are wearing knee-high boots. They are so cool. On both, they ombre from a pink to a blue. Very neat. And this side has, and they both have these really cool lightning bolt cutouts. Of course, this one has like rivets and straps to show off Frankie's prosthetic leg. Very cool. Both have metallic silver zippers. I love all the detailing on this. Look at that heel. It is so neat. And they both have lightning bolts coming off the heel. Look at that sculpting. That is so cool. The painting's a little iffy here and there, but that's not surprising at all. Like even on the bottom, look at that. That is so cool. And another thing I noticed about their prosthetic leg is that there seems to be a layer of glossy varnish on it to protect all of their like drawn on symbols. That's so cool. Like you can see just how glossy it is. You can also kind of see where the varnish ends. That's nice. Now I still suggest putting varnish on the rest of their, like the stitches and all the other things that are printed on them, just because they are liable to chip off if you want to undress and redress this character. So if you have some matte varnish, I would definitely make some use of that. Oh, and their fingers are really warped on this hand from packaging. If you would just put it in some hot water for like 30 seconds, it'll go back into shape. No worries. And it should deal with those dents as well. And do they have the del and do they have the deluxe articulation? It's kind of hard to tell. Yes, they do. Uh, because of how tight this, like, because of how tight this harness is and how this top is, it's kind of difficult to tell, but yes, they do have the chest articulation. That's pretty much a standard for G3 of Monster High, but I did want to check because, you know, there was a possibility that that wasn't the case. And now that we're done with the actual doll, let's go over their myriad of accessories. We're going to start with the keytar. It is so neat. Look at the cool, like, motherboard sculpting. Look at the nice ombre from pink to, like, purpley to blue. Got green buttons with lightning bolts. Oh, it says Stein on it. That's awesome. This is such a cool piece. It's got a handle for them to hold. Perfect. And its strap is made out of pink vinyl. It's nice. And it did come rubber banded to their arm. I left the rubber band on. Hopefully I can get it back on properly. And I'm going to start with their bag so I can put some of the accessories in it as we go. You can see it's this nice big blue bag with huge green lightning bolts coming out of it. And these lightning bolt cutouts. Very nice. Great sculpted work again. And it looks like a little slot to put their phone. So nice. So nice. And like a little divider inside. That's nice. Like I love the little details that they think of. We've got some... Sour something. I would say Sour Patch Kids, but they're little Frankensteins, so Sour Frankensteins. They have a zap ring made out of the green plastic. Neat. Not my style. A Polaroid of their best ghoul friends. So cute. Dracula and Claudine. A little green comb that will do absolutely nothing. <laughs> but it's cool. It's got a lightning bolt and a little thumb hole for them to hold. A mirror, again with a thumb hold, and it's shaped like Skelet. Oh, I love that sculpting on the back. The spider web and the smaller Skelet. 
So cute. A water bottle. Pretty sure this is a sculpt we've seen before. I don't know exactly which doll it was from. Probably Creepover. I feel like that's the one that came with a water bottle, but I could be wrong. Cute. I love the hex bolt on the top. And of course the lid comes off. A hair dryer that's the same sculpt as Neon Frights Frankie came with. It's very cool. I like it in silver with this pink diffuser. Hairspray that says bolt hold. And look, I think that's actually them on the thing. So fun. And you can take the lid off. And then, ooh, two barrettes. Oh, that's interesting. They're actually different sculpts. Usually they just put the same thing. That's nice. I wonder if they'll actually fit in the hair. Their eye coffin. Oh, I love the stitched heart with the lightning bolts coming out of it. I love their little phones. They are such fun additions. Now, let's see if it actually fits in the thing. Mm, maybe this way. If you really force it in there, it'll go in a small amount. <laughs> and then finally, their last accessory is a little chain bracelet with a green lightning bolt on the front. That's cool. I wonder if it'll actually fit over the jacket though. <laughs> All right. Well, that, okay. Well, that is everything that comes with Amped Up Frankie. I really like them. Their accessories are cool. I don't think they'll mean much for me, but I'm sure for kids, the like playability of all those extra little pieces is fun. I just really want the doll with the keytar and I think that's good enough for me. And I'm super happy with the doll. I'm also super happy that I got them for $10. That's always going to be like top tier clearance. Love that. Thank you, Amazon. Um, what is their regular retail? I feel like they were 30. Would it be worth the $30? I think if you really liked them, they would be. For me, probably not. That is why I waited on a sale. And because you're kind of getting a doll sight unseen, you're taking that chance that maybe they come with a wonky face. And mine is a touch wonky, but I'm not really upset about it. I think they're a really cool Frankie doll. Like this <laughs> gives very Frankie energy and I love it. I do kind of wish that we could get something other than the bike shorts for them because we've just gotten so many high-waisted bike shorts for Frankie and G3 and I get that that's probably just part of their fashion and that's totally valid but I'd like to see some you know some variety. I feel like they don't stray enough from the bike shorts and the like extremely simple skirts that we you know like I would love to see some more pants. I know we got like regular shorts on the core refresh Frankie. I'm very excited for that and the Monster Fest Frankie comes with pants which I'm super happy about. I just want to see Frankie you know branch out a little bit I want to see some more variety and I'm glad that th we were able to sort of step away from the asymmetrical boots and still get the knee highs but have a fun way to display the leg I think that's very cool and yeah I think that's all I'm very happy with this doll I'm happy to add them to my collection really happy that they stand on their own because I ran out of stands <laughs> and they of course don't come with them unfortunately uh but yeah let me know down below what you think of Frankie do you like monster or amped up Frankie excuse me I keep trying to call the monster fest or monster ball do you like amped up frankie let me know do you have amped up frankie please like comment subscribe do all the youtube things do none of them just happy you're interacting with my content at all but if you do i will be in love with you and it'll help my channel out and we can go to the monster ball i put out new videos every monday and friday for the most part so i will see you in the next one hope you have a great day bye